Now in this video we'll talk about synchronization. Not exactly it means. So for that, let me add an example here and based on the, that example we'll, we'll write our code or we'll, we'll try to understand what a synchronization is. So let's say we have a class here and the name of the class is counter. Okay, and in this counter we have a variable which is count and in this we have a method we'll say public void increment now what this increment method will do is it will simply increment the value of count okay so if the value of count is initially zero and every time you run this code every time you call increment it will increment it will increase the count of i mean it will, it will increase the value of the count for that what we'll do is we'll try to increment the value using a main method here what we can do here is let me create the object of counter so that we can increment it let's say counter c equal to new counter and what i want to do now is i want to call increment so i can simply say c dot increment and later on let me create the object i mean let me print the value of the count there so we'll say system dot out dot printer and we'll say count of uh, plus we'll say this is c dot count now if i run this code you can see we'll be getting the output as so we got the output as one so count is one let me take the output window here so that it will be very clear for us to see the output since we are calling increment only once it is printing count one what if i if i what if i call increment two times so it will it will run this and it will get it will give you the output which is two right because we are, we are calling increment two times now what i will do is i will call increment multiple times so let let me call increment let's say 10000 times of course it, the count value will be 10000 right but instead of using main thread i will count I will count it for two thousand. I mean, it will, I will count using two different threads. So let's create a thread, and each thread will call increment thousand times. Let's do that. So we'll say thread t1 equal to new thread, and now we know how to create the object of thread, right? So we, we can use lambda expression here directly, but just to make it simple, I will be using runnable object. Okay, I have. I want to create. To, I want to. I wanted to create the object of runnable here, and here I will create. A method which is public void run which is compulsory for us to do right and then in here i will create i will run a loop which will start with one it will go till 1000 and then will i will say plus plus so i got a for loop so this for loop will run for 1000 times and every time it should call c dot increment every time you run this loop it will call increment so in total the value of count will be thousand right uh, let's do that. Let, let me just do let me just say t1 dot start. Uh, will it work now? So I'm using only one thread now and the count value is zero. That's weird. Why is not working? Uh, it's because it is working. If you can see if you run this code, somewhere you, you're getting some value. You can see zero, we got 219, we got 205. What is happening is as soon as you say start, it is running this loop. Okay, it will take some time for running, right? By the time t1 is busy incrementing this. The main thread is doing nothing and it is printing the count here, right? So what we'll do is we'll, we, we have to ask our main just to wait for T1 to complete its job. So for that, we have to say T1.join and it might throw an exception, let me throw the exception there. And now if you run this, you can see we got the count value as 100. So what we are doing now with T1.join T1 is we are asking our thread to wait. So we are asking our main thread to wait for T1 to complete its job. So that, that is only one thread, right? I want to use the second thread now. So how will you implement second thread? Let's see that. So let me just say, so let's say this is t1 done. Let me just copy this code and I will make one more thread here, which is t2. So we'll make this as t2 and this this will do the same thing. It will, it will, increment, it will run this loop for a thousand times and it will call increment. And we have to say t2.start. And then we have to also wait for t2 to complete his job, right? So we'll say t2.join. Everything seems good, right? So if you run these two loops, it will if if you run these two threads, it will it should increment for approximately 2,000 times, right? So value of count should be 2,000. And if you run this code, that's weird. We are not getting 2,000. If I run this once again, we are not getting 2,000. Now why is that the case? It's because when two threads are doing this addition at the same time this this statement looks very simple right this is incrementing the value but this is not a simple statement count plus plus simply means count equal to count plus one 
that means we are doing two we are performing two action here one is addition and second is assignment okay so let's say t1 and t2 they are running in parallel right so t1 comes to increment and says hey uh, increment i want to execute so your increment says okay go on so t1 fetches the value of count which is zero so t1 fetch the value of count which is zero it says plus one it is making it one now so i the count value for t1 i mean the count value is one and you assign the value of one to count so the current value of count is one now t2 reaches t2 says okay count give me your value count will say my value is one t2 will say okay your value is one i will add one the value of count now is two so it will assign two now t1 will again come it will fetch the value of count which is two it will assign one the value of count becomes three and list goes on right so for t1 running for thousand times t2 running for thousand times in total it should be two thousand but what is happening is somewhere in between when t1 reaches and ask for the value of count so let's say the, the current value is let's say 600 somewhere after 600 t1 reaches and t1 says hey count give me a value count says okay my value is 600 by the time t1 is adding the value what t2 is doing is t2 has also fetched the value of count at the same time so both are asking for the value and the value both got is 600 both has added one which which is 601 because both have 6 600 both are adding one so they got 600 one and that value is assigned to count so where it should be 602 it is 601 because instead of incrementing two times we are incrementing only once because both are fetching the value and both are incrementing it at the same time this is not happening once or twice it is happening multiple times that means both this thread are using this method at the same time that is creating the issue both the threads are accessing this method at the same time that is what is creating the issue what i want now is if t1 is executing the increment method t2 should not execute this if t2 is executing this method t1 should not interfere that means you want only one thread to work with this method and how to achieve that if you make this method synchronized that means only one thread can work with this method if t1 is working with increment t2 has to wait when t2 is working with the method t1 has to wait so maximum one only one thread can work with this so if you run this code now you can see we got the count value as 2000 let me run this once again you got the value as 2000 it's that simple so that's how you use synchronized method so point remember is when you don't make your method synchronized that means your your method or your object counter is not thread safe your class is not thread safe which means that multiple threads can access the same method at the same time what we want is we want to make this method synchronized so that only one thread can use it at a time so when t1 is ex executing increment t2 will not interfere so t2 will wait and when t2 is executing increment t1 will wait that's the idea behind synchronized methods so that's about synchronized keyword thank you so much